Okay, so in this video we're going to find the residues of a function f of z of 1 over z times z plus 1 squared. And in this uh, question here, z is a complex number, a plus bi, where i is square root of minus 1. So complex analysis. So how are we going to find the residues of our function f here? Well, we can rewrite f to start with as f equals 1 over z times 1 over z plus 1 all squared okay so how are we going to find the residue of that well we need the poles first so looking at this function we've got poles to make this uh, undefined so z equals 0 would uh, make this undefined and also when z equals minus 1 so we've got simple pole at z equals zero and a pole of order two because it's to the power of two z equals minus one so a pole of order two at z equals minus one okay so to find the pole at z equals minus 1, then this is the function here where z equals minus 1 is, that, uh, is of interest. So one way we can do this is to use the Laurent series. So for the Laurent series, what we're looking for is the coefficient of z to the minus 1 in the Laurent series. So the Laurent series is like the Taylor series. So this 1 over z plus 1 squared, we know there's a famous Taylor series for that. So 1 over z plus 1 squared, that equals 1 minus 2xz uh, minus 2z plus 3 z squared minus 4 z cubed plus 5 z to the 4 and so on and you can see the pattern here coefficients are increasing and alternating in sign so 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 that will go on all the way and the powers are increasing by 1 all the time so this is z to the 1 here we could have z to the 0 just what z to zero we know is one so we just put the uh, single unit of one in there okay so now we want to find the residue at z equals zero so what we do now if we just multiply one over z by this z plus one squared i.e the taylor series of that so one over z times one minus two z plus three z squared and so on where we're looking for the coefficient of z to the minus 1, or we can write that as 1 over z. So basically we're just looking for this first term, because if we multiply this through, we'll get 1 over z minus 2z over z plus 3z squared over z, and so on. So these will cancel out. That will come a 1. But this... Is the coefficient we'd be interested in here. So the coefficient of that is obviously going to be a positive one. So the residue of f at zero equals positive one. But now we're interested in trying to find the residue at z equals minus one. So that's going to involve just rewriting this term a little bit. So we'll do a little substitution here. So I'm just going to rub this off and we'll proceed now with the next part of the question. So f equals 1 over z times 1 over z plus 1 squared. Now if we try and do a little u sub here, so u equals the z plus 1. So that's to get this one. 
and then we would have z equals u minus 1. Now if we take this into the u world, we're not going to do integration, but we're just going to do some complex analysis. So 1 over z becomes 1 over u minus 1, and then we're going to times that by 1 over u is z plus 1, so that's u squared. So 1 over u squared, we can deal with that, that's fine. 1 over u minus 1, now that's very similar to 1 over 1 minus u. So 1 over 1 minus u, what we can say is that is the same as minus 1 over u minus 1. Those two there will be equal. And there's a famous Taylor series for 1 over 1 minus u. That's probably one of the most commonly used ones. So 1 over 1 minus u, that is 1 plus u plus u squared plus u cubed all the way along. So if we take the negative in here, which is very similar to what we've got here, we're going to end up with minus 1 plus u plus u squared plus u cubed which will then give us minus 1 minus u minus u squared minus u cubed. So then our function here now, this will now equal 1 over u squared multiplied by what we've got here. So now we've got minus 1 minus u minus u squared minus u cubed, which equals minus 1 over u squared minus u over u squared minus u squared over u squared and that's us distributing this minus this 1 over u squared into all of this so what we're interested in is again is the coefficient uh, to the power of minus 1 so then that would equal u to the minus 2 minus this will cancel out and give us a 1, so that's u to the minus 1, these will cancel out and give us 1, obviously the Laurent series is going to continue, so this is the part that we're interested in the most, which gives us a coefficient of minus 1, so now what we can say is the residue of f at minus 1 equals minus 1. Okay, and then put back, put back in the other residue that we found earlier, just to give you the complete answer. The residue of f comma zero equals positive one. Okay.